In the previous video, I have created this umbrella big loop antenna. In this video, I'll bring it out for a few tests. So after the few tests, I find that I need to wind uh, 11 turns instead of just 8 turns to be able to have enough inductance to match with my crystal radio. Well, after making the first umbrella big loop, I find that I can improve a bit. So instead of using a second wire, I can use the same wire to tie this to the pin. Also, I find that I can tie the other end of the comb to the pin and make it more secure. I've been using this converter cable made of a transformer that connects to the iPhone mic inputs. The transformer will serve to isolate the DC current so the iPhone will record crystal clear signals. There is no amplification done except for the iPhone microphone circuits on an auto gain control system. So all you are hearing in this field test and my other videos are not amplified. They are the direct input from the crystal radio that is powered by the radio broadcast coming from the transmission station. There's no battery, no electricity, no tricks played at the background for amplification or so. So please enjoy. First testing, I'm using this umbrella big loop coil as the resonance coil directly and that fits into the most FET 3DQ is the best use of the umbrella coil it will be the best output and very clear In my second test, I am using the umbrella back loop to replace the antenna and ground. Let's connect it like what you see on the diagram here. I find that it will still work if you just use one wire. So that's the end of my testing. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please like subscribe and send your friends to subscribe too. See you later in the Crystal Radio world. Thank you. Merry Christmas.